One of the most architecturally significant houses on the Gulf Coast, the Greek Revival home built by planter James Brown in the 1850s, Beauvoir is also important to both Mississippi and American history as the final home of Confederate President Jefferson Davis. This house has two main characteristics to it currently. One is that it's the oldest historic structure on the Gulf Coast left after Katrina. But of course, in Mississippi, the predominance is it's Jefferson Davis's last home. He loved Beauvoir so much. He came to live here in the late 1870s, intending to write his memoirs, which he did, in the library cottage. And when Sarah Dorsey, the owner of Beauvoir, died rather young of cancer, he discovered that she had left him Beauvoir in her will. And so Beauvoir became his, and he loved it here. For Davis, the beachside home was a welcome refuge. A respected soldier and public servant for most of his career, Davis saw his reputation suffer greatly after the Confederacy was defeated. In most of the country, the victors go to the spoils. And in that case, Jefferson Davis is one word in a history book. And it's like he created everything that he's part of. They don't recognize he was a West Point graduate or a secretary of war or a senator or a hero in the War of 1847 or was responsible for the Smithsonian or the Capitol Dome or things like that. He was never considered a fire eater. He was always a very moderate Southern leader, which is why, the, which is the reason he was elected president, of course, because he was moderate and not, a, let's go, you know, invade the North immediately and kill everybody. He's not that kind of person at all. While it can be difficult to strip away misconceptions obscuring Davis's legacy in American history, Katrina's record storm surge literally did strip paint, wood, and mortar from the statesman's famous home. I did feel a very unusual feelings of the time that yes, it was there, but it was badly damaged. And when I recognized the major damage was the front porch was completely ripped off and that we could put a front porch back, you know? So I knew we could restore it, and that was our number one objective. I couldn't believe it was still standing. We were watching the WLBT uh, feeds, uh, the helicopters flying over the coast just to see what was left, and I could not believe my eyes, and I knew it was Beauvoir because the Coliseum was mostly still there. I came down the first time. It was a rainy, cold day in January, and I cried. I, I drove up and I didn't even want to look. I got out, I looked, and I, I just cried and got back in the car. But I knew that there was hope because I knew that this was so significant to the Gulf Coast and the Mississippi and to the Davis family that something unique would be able to come from it. The historic home had survived dozens of hurricanes through the years, but the damage from Katrina was unlike anything the other storms inflicted. The impact was sobering. Right after Katrina, it looked nothing like this. Uh, primarily, the, the front porch was gone, the front steps were gone. There were large holes in the roof that was a result of the roof being an integral part of the porch. So now you're coming up on the, uh, the front of Beauvoir after our restoration, and everything is put back exactly the way it was before, but even better. With the help of the Mississippi Department of Archives and History, FEMA, and several private organizations, the Mississippi Division of the Sons of the Confederate Veterans began a restoration project of the Gulf Coast's most visited historical attraction. Remarkably, the damage from Katrina was so intense that it exposed information about the home and the Davises that would otherwise have remained obscured by time. Uh, we think that uh, Winnie Davis, Jefferson Davis's uh, daughter, painted the fireplaces, and uh, this is, a, again, another one of her uh, artwork on this fireplace and the one in her room and in Margaret's room. The house is put back in a, in a better than it's almost ever been, or certainly as good as it was when it was brand new when it was built. And it's hard for people to, to realize all the work that has gone on structurally in the house before even the decorative painters were even on, you know, could come on the scene because a lot of things had to be researched and stabilized and engineered and then physically all built back. The near loss of Beauvoir re-energized efforts to preserve this important piece of American history. Well, you can choose what you want to believe about history, but what happened, happened. And 
I think the dark and the light all, all make the complete picture.